Right, so welcome back. Hopefully you've watched the previous videos on uh, replacing this diaphragm and gasket. And it's, uh, you know, you've got the knowledge now to be able to do this. I've actually just done this carburetor here. It's exactly the same uh, procedures I've shown in these uh, previous videos. I hope they're helpful to a lot of people, actually. Um, I'm going to put this back on, but the thought's just occurred to me that this mower, I've actually never had this one running. I'm doing the carb, and I thought it was one of these that revved up and down, but I've never actually had this one running. But I've done the carb on it. I'm just going to put this back on now. And um, I just wanted to show this while I'm putting this back together. I always make sure you've got this little uh, this little gasket on top of the carb as well. We'll pop that back on. And a lot of people struggle to get this linkage here. This little linkage back on. What they do is they bolt it on and they can't get this hooked on. Little trick. I'm sure I've, I haven't watched the previous videos for a while, but um, what a lot of people do is bolt it on and try and get it on. What you've got to do is just hook it on now. Hook it on at the beginning and get it on. Make sure that it's nice and free and everything's moving about. We'll just push this back on, that's together. So I say, I've got to put some governor springs on here yet as well. There is actually a video on my channel, I'll try and put a link to it, of uh, where these governor springs actually go. I'll actually get to that, but for now, I'm just going to put this back together. I'll try and uh, have a dig around in my garage and find some parts, but basically I just wanted to show you that little tip. I wasn't sure if I covered it in the previous videos. I've actually had a bit of problem with my uh, laptop recently, so... I've actually had to send it off for some repairs as it's all gone a bit wrong so as I'm filming I don't actually have a laptop to upload these to YouTube but uh, just fasten these up, tighten them up evenly, I just like to get them both going so we can here, tighten that up. Also the other thing is when these two uh, rubber like gasket washers if you want to call them that, you make when you push this carb on make sure it goes right on and make sure everything's even, if you think there's uh, any chance of anything being snapped or pushed out of place and don't do it, just take it off and do it again another little tip, just makes it easy to get in, don't always do it just set the petrol uh, cap off to fasten this up I always like to lift the tank up a little bit at the back as well, try and get it as level as you can and just put this back together the only problem I might have in the minute is that I don't have any governor springs in one of my drawers um, what I will do then is I'll take one off another mower obviously I've got some other mowers with these same parts on you know, from one shot on one shot, you know, it doesn't really matter which one it's on, but at least I get to test this mower. Let's just tighten that up nice and tight. Make sure these are nice and tight, by the way, so it pushes this uh, carb right on here. If it isn't quite tight enough, you might just get a little bit of air leakage out, and it still won't run right as well, so... Let's just put these on here. Right. So that's back on. Mmm, petrol doesn't sound, smell too good either, let take that out as well. But uh, I'm going to go and have a look for some uh, linkages, we'll see if we can get this running. Just before I, uh, I just had a quick look for some springs, I couldn't find any, but I thought just before I do anything else, I'm going to change this plug as well. It's a bit of a mess, is this mower, if I'm honest with you. It's not in great condition, it's paint missing all over the place, and uh, as I said, I might actually just keep this one for myself, and um, use this one next summer. I don't really need one with a drive, so... I may just sell the one that I've got with a drive. Let's take this plug out. Yeah, it's covered in oil, is that? I don't know if you can see that. It's, uh, it's definitely not been running right on that, so I'll take that one out. Use one of these NGK plugs that I've mentioned before. The actual uh, model number is BR2-LM. I actually buy these on uh, eBay. I think I buy them off a guy on eBay called Blind Stick Insect. I don't know why it's called that. I think I've uh, I buy them in boxes of tens anyway, and he always sends them in really quick. So I normally leave it until I've nearly run out. To be honest, to buy some more. So just put this plug in. Just tighten that up. Only needs to be tight a little bit. That should do it. It's not going to go anywhere. I always take a look in here, by the way. I always take a look in the end of this uh, this lead here. You see this in the end. Sometimes I've had these that have been squashed. They've been missing. They've got. Uh, Pat's sheared off, make sure it goes on. I don't really like these ones with these uh, this big cowling on the end either. I don't like the look of it or the feel of it when it goes on. Make sure it clicks or pushes. If you don't go off, you don't think it's on right, definitely won't fire. So we've got that. I'm going to press this primer bulb. Yeah, it's actually spraying some uh, fuel in there. As I say, it won't work properly at the minute because I've got no um, spring on to set the, uh, the throttle. 
I can't find one either. So I'll tell you what, let's just try, just for just because I've never done it before. Let's just try and start it up without that spring on. I mean I've got this other one like temporarily moving about here. Let's just pull this in so you can see. I've not got the other one on, but let's try it. It's got some fuel in it. It's got uh, a new diaphragm and gasket in it and it's got a new plug in it. Check there's nothing underneath it. Lids on alright, it's all pretty crumbling off, but yeah, let's see what happens when we try it just to see how it does run. Yeah, let's uh let's check there's nothing underneath it. I will say the same thing, and I know I know I do, I know I repeat myself. I always check there's nothing underneath it, so I'm just letting you know. Let's try it. This didn't run at all before. quite a bit and as you can tell it uh, it does actually run right till you move it about now that's probably what this other spring just told in the throttle as soon as you move it and it gets uh, slid about a bit it doesn't run right but uh, the idea of uploading the past two videos for this diaphragm and gasket just shows you why I've gone from having a, a, a mower that don't run at all or revving up and down mowers and this is basically I've got a garden full of these so having uh, one that runs correctly or it will do and I've got a spring in 